coach just the immediate thoughts after the series win? Yeah, obviously awesome days for uh, Lampkin and Braden. Um, I'm super proud of, of Justin. I didn't have the greatest start to the season. Uh, and then last week was a little bit better. But he, the thing he did all for us last year was have really good fastball command. And his off-speed pitches were a little short. And uh, this year, his off-speed pitches have been much, much better. But his fastball command kind of went away from him. And today, he had that fastball command, especially in on you know those good right-handed hitters like Jordan and, and the other guy, the other, the other right-handed guys. So uh, kudos to him. He was awesome. I uh, was trying to ride him as much as we could because uh, I felt like he earned it. And sometimes that helps boost the pitcher's ego when you do that, you know. Um, and then Brayden, what, what more? What more do you need to say? Yeah, you know, just, a, um, all, just a star player in a star in star moments. You mentioned Brayden there. What was kind of the decision with the switch hitter? Switch hitter, kind of what was the? Yeah. What do you, what do you mean? With Jordan Dolores being a switch pitcher, Brayden being a switch hitter, kind of what well, side would hit for? Well, you, it's up to the pitcher. The pitcher, pitcher decides. The pitcher has to. The pitcher has to declare what side of the rubber he's going to throw from. And then the hitter can choose. You can't change in the at bat. You have to declare it before the at bat begins. And uh, Caden Sorrell just, uh, you know. Yeah, super on. excited for him. You know, uh, made great, really good defensive play to start the game. Uh, obviously, getting every out is huge, especially uh, towards the end. And, and he made. I didn't even see the play in the bullpen, so I look forward to. It. I guess he reached over the fence or whatever, or ran into the fence as he caught it. So Caden's super talented player. You know, it's just freshman in this league. Tough to tough to get going and maybe that'll help him get going. Definitely makes us better in the outfield. You know, Hayden's competitive out there, but he's not Sorrell. Um, and Sorrell can move around the bases. So we're still trying to figure things out, you know, uh, to give us the best lineup and depth on a team is, is always good. There in the seventh inning, I think it was after uh, Pell's double, there's kind of some John back and forth. What was, you know, I think it was uh, yeah, just competitive things happen in the game. I think, I think our pitching coach thought we had the pitches, which we didn't. Um, if we did, we'd just score a lot more runs, I would hope, but uh, we didn't have any pitches. But that, th those things happen in games. It's, you, know, uh, you know, one of their coaches I've known since he was 15 years old. I recruited him and coached him for three years, Jim Gotro. So there's no ill will between us and them. It's just that it happens in, this, in these games. It happens in intense environments. Jim, uh, their coaches were kind of telling me that they were coming back saying Lincoln was like unhittable. What were we seeing in, in his stuff versus maybe last week? Fastball command. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, the uh, as right before you got here, uh, what I was saying what I was saying was his his off speed pitches are much improved from last year. Uh, last year he, he he could pitch with just his fastball because he had good ride to his fastball, um, and, and so far this year, especially the right handed hitters, for some reason yeah. he hasn't had great fastball command. I know he and Max went to work on that this week, and he was able to get that fastball in. Uh, I mean, a guy like Dakota, you know, he doesn't strike out very much. He's got more walks than strikeouts, and for to strike him out a couple times and having him strike out looking, I mean, that just tells you how, because he's a great hitter and shows you how good Lampkin stuff was. But I think it was just the fastball command combined with having the other, the slider and the changeup. Can you talk about Lovulet Montgomery, then going back to pack? I think there were two instances where like Lovulet double and then Montgomery. Well, I mean, we, we, last night was a super frustrating night. Mm -hmm. You know, um, number one, we lost the game. Uh, number two, we hit 12, 13, 14 balls, whatever it was, over 100 miles an hour. And, and then we had that continued in the first third of the game. You know, we smoked some balls. They did too, but we smoked some balls. And then, you know, the guy you know, dropped it or whatever, hit, kicked off his glove and gave us a little life. And then uh, I think Braden's homer was a two strike homer. I think they're trying to run a fastball in on him after, I think it was a fastball after, after he had, yeah, after he had seen him. And just, just a great swing, you know, to be able to turn around 96 to the pull side and keep it fair. Um, shows you how talented Braden is. What, what are you seeing from Braden versus maybe in the fall? I mean, the scrimmage that's on the fall, he didn't look great in two years of age. I mean, now obviously he's on a heater. I mean, what, what are you seeing? From uh, I, I, I mean, I think his, I won't, you know, his freshman year he walked uh, 18 times and last year he walked 50, uh, 51, I think. And so, uh, it, it was like, you know, controlling the strike zone. I mean, he's controlling the strike zone. And I think, you know, he's gotten better as a right-handed hitter uh, and he's using the whole field. I mean, he, he's he's got, what, three or four now opposite field homers. He hit a big one in Globe Life the other way against Arizona State. And he hits one off the scoreboard today. I mean, I, you, how do you pitch him? You know, do you flip him around? Uh, because he's now that used to be the book is to flip him around, make him hit right-handed. And, and that was part of the recruiting process is that we, had, we have a bunch of lefties we, we, we stacked his at-bats uh, right-handed in the fall to give him more experience and 
he and Mike have done a lot of good work together. Just how big a win was this one to keep from dropping the first two SEC series? SEC series? <laughs> yeah, man, they're all big. Just, just mm -hmm. find, try, trying to find a way to get to 15. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it's, one weekend isn't going to define any team positive or negative in this league. But but it was huge for us to since we lost the you know the, the game three last weekend on the road. We obviously to win it at home is even more important. You used Ashton back there in the ninth, and he was kind of on a short rest. What have you seen kind of as his arms progressed in the season? I mean, that's what he's been doing for us for a year and a half. So he pitches in any role. Um, it's good that he was real efficient on Friday night. And I was just trying to wait as long as we could um, to bring him in. I felt like Lampkin deserved the chance to pitch as deep in the game as possible. And then I knew we were going to go to heaven. So he's he, he rebounds really well. Jim, I know in Mississippi State you played pretty well against y'all last year and started Bill. But like, what, what are you seeing different from their team? Yeah, team? just completely different team. Wait, uh, Justin Parker, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know him, but uh, the unbelievable job they're doing with the pitching staff. I mean, they they throw a ton of strikes. Um, you can you can tell by like their pickoff moves and just everything they do. They're they're very very well coached, extremely well coached. Obviously, they have good stuff, um, but I think that's the difference. They throw more and they catch the ball. You know, last year they really struggled to catch the ball, um, especially at third base. And uh, that's a kid from Memphis, Kohler. He's playing a good third base. And uh, and Mershon's, you know, he's a gritty baseball player. So they throw strikes, they play defense, um, and and Jake has, Gotro has done an awesome job of giving them an, a real offensive identity, and they don't, you know, they don't go away from it. And so, for Lampkin to do what he did, and um, sorry, Prager. Prager to do what he did, <laughs> like that, that just tells you how good they were because LSU obviously has awesome pitchers. Um, but uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're confident. You can tell they're confident. They're feeling good about themselves. And this weekend won't slow them down. They'll be, Florida's going to have their hands full next week. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jeff. Yeah.